This video explains how to calculate quantiles in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In the first example of this tutorial, I will show you how to calculate quantiles of a list. So for this, we first need to create an example list, as you can see in the first line of code. So after running this line of code, a new list object called my list is created. And we can print this list object below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created a list object containing different numbers. Now, in order to calculate quantiles of this list, we first need to import the NumPy library, as you can see in the next code box. And then in the next step, we can use the functions of the NumPy library to calculate our quantiles. So in the first example, I want to show you how to calculate quartiles of our list. And to do that, we need to use the arrange function. And within the arrange function, we need to specify that we want to calculate quartiles. And we need to specify our list object, my list, within the quantile function. So after running this line of code, a new output is returned, which shows the quartiles of our list object. It's also possible to calculate deciles, and this is what I want to show you in the next line of code. So the only thing that I'm changing is the input for the range function. And in this case, I specify within the range function that I want to calculate deciles. So after running this line of code, another output is returned, which is showing the deciles of our input list. Similar to that, we can also calculate percentiles, as you can see in the next line of code. And once again, we only need to change the input of the range function. So in these first examples, I have explained how to calculate quantiles of a list object. However, it's also possible to calculate quantiles for a column in a pandas data frame. And this is what I will show you in the next examples, starting in the sixth code box. So as a first step, we need to import the pandas library. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can use the print function to print this data frame below the code box. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing 11 rows and the three columns x1, x2, and group. And the columns x1 and x2 contain numbers. And the group column will be used as a group indicator. In the next step, we can calculate the quantiles for only one column. So more precisely, in this case, I'm calculating the quartiles of the column x1. And for this, we first need to subset our data frame to extract only the values in the column x1. And then we need to apply the quantile function to this column. And within the quantile function, once again, we need to specify that we want to calculate quartiles. So after running this line of code, a new output is returned, which is showing the quartiles for the column x1. It's also possible to calculate deciles of one column, as you can see in the next line of code. And as in the previous example for the list, we also have to specify within the arrange function that we want to calculate deciles. And we can also calculate percentiles, as you can see in the next line of code. So similar to the list, we always have to specify what we want to calculate within the arrange function. Now it's also possible to get quantiles for all numeric columns in a data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the next line of code in the 11th code box. So in this case, we are not subsetting our data frame. We are simply taking the entire data frame and we are applying the quantile and numpy arrange functions to this entire data frame. However, we specify that we want to calculate the quartiles only for the numeric columns. So after running this line of code, you can see that the quartiles for the columns x1 and x2 are returned below the code box. It's also possible to calculate grouped quantiles, as I want to show you in the last example of this tutorial. And to do that, we first need to apply the group by function to our data frame. Within the group by function, we have to specify the column name that we want to use to group our data. So in this case, this column is called group. And then we have to apply the quantile function to this 
output of the group by function. And in this case, we specify that we want to calculate quartiles. So after running this line of code, the grouped quartiles for the columns x1 and x2 are shown below the code box. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.